Hey, what's going on, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner, and we are on the bank of some completely desolate ditch. Now, there's a, there's a dam a couple hundred yards up the river from us. We came down to the bank, and it looks like people have been fishing here before. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna make a, a fire and cook fish and bear on the side of the bank right here. Now, the reason I'm in Saskatchewan, Canada is because we came up here for a bear hunt. It's all about adventure. It's all about getting out there and exploring the outdoors. And I'm so stoked you're here with me. Let's build a fire and then we're gonna start fishing and hopefully we catch some rad fish. Now, when you're in the wild like this, it is imperative that you manage your fire. The last thing we can let happen is this fire get out and create a forest fire. So what I'll do is I'll keep taking this ax, I'll create a fire barrier, and I'm not gonna let this get too big that it gets out of hand. I'm gonna stay here and manage it. Who didn't see this coming? Everglades fishing chicken in the middle of nowhere. That meat is going to be so good. Whenever I was planning this trip, wanting to come to Saskatchewan, it's a place I had been, oh, look at this, he's getting in the logs. Come here, buddy. This is a place I had wanted to come to since I was a little child. Years ago, I watched a video called Monarchs of Alberta. It's a, a deer hunting show. It was the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. It was like, I, I, I just said to myself, one day I've got to go do that. Now, I'm not in Alberta, but I am in Canada. And it's like the same terrain, it's that same feel. And uh, to be out here fishing on, there's ducks in the background, moving water, huge timber. I've got bear cooking on an open fire. Just doesn't get much better. Got the old swim bait going on here, y'all. Oh, dude, you nailed it. I was just thinking to myself, I don't know if they'll eat this thing or not. I mean, look at this. First, first cast, inhaled it. These fish must be so hungry right now because everything you throw in the water, it's not like they're just whacking it. They are devouring it. Okay, Miss Loran, here it is. The five of diamonds. You promised me that it would catch fish Let's see what happens. Five of diamonds. The five of diamonds. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Here it is. The five of diamonds. You promised me that it would catch fish. Let's see what happens. Cast's good, I can tell you that. No way. It got eight the second it hit the biggest fish of the day right here. It got hit the second it hit the water. This is the biggest fish of the day, no joke. This is a giant. It's in that tree. Got him out, I got him out. Whoa. Dang it. Come on. Ah. 
I got him right here, man. Come on. Come on. Oh, I've got him hooked in the side. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, yes. Look at that. Five of diamonds for the win. Look at the teeth. That's all just a big giant row of like chompers. Whoa, whoa. Huh? I know it. That's him. Did you see this one? That's a monster. Oh my gosh. Whoa! <laughs> Please tell me that was filming that. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh, that was the shot of the day, y'all. Yeah, I was filming. Look at that. Look at that. Look how beautiful that fish is. Such a warrior. I mean, incredible. And Loran, I got him on the five of diamonds. Thank you so much. You guys, when you travel, local knowledge is key. Whoa, gosh. I literally just about fell face first into the water. We got bear cooking. We're catching fish every cast. Ooh, ooh, he's hooked up, ladies and gentlemen. Hooked up with a monster. Bluebird skies. 55 degrees, you tell me how it gets better than that. I swear I think bear is one of my favorite meats. Look how juicy and nice that is. Look at that, y'all seeing that? And it's like tender, like a yearling deer. I would have never guessed bear tastes like that. It's literally like not gamey at all. No. Wait, I expected it to at least have a little game taste to it. It's phenomenal. So I hope you guys have enjoyed all the videos we've been doing up here in Saskatchewan. This has been a trip of a lifetime and I cannot wait to bring Sarah and the girls. Back at camp here. They call them jacks, pike, northern, whatever. It's just a fish and we're gonna knock the sides off it real quick. Everyone talks about how hard they are to fillet. So I'm gonna do my best. I've never filleted one of these before, so I'm just feeling it out. Feeling my way down his backbone there. Feels nice and firm, feels pretty good. And we'll just follow that backbone right down here. Feels like nice white meat. Mm. I mean, it looks gorgeous. I don't know how it's gonna taste, but it certainly Super slippery, holy macaroni. Okay, so there's the first side. How's that look, boys? They 
are so slippery. Holy mackerel. Okay, so there's the skin. And uh, look at that meat, guys. It looks good, eh? I wish this was a little cleaner. Now, it, with one of my silver stags that was nice and sharp, this would, I think this would, Like that is what you're looking for? The sun's going down, you guys. And as you can see, this is some gorgeous, gorgeous white meat. But I want you just to look back here. Look at that right there. Beautiful river with a gorgeous, majestic sunset. A couple of friends sitting out here on the edge of a ditch bank. We're gonna go in, go back up to camp, and, uh, and cook this up as friends because tomorrow, we're going to be heading back to Florida. Saskatchewan has been amazing, and I thank you all for being a part of it. I washed off all that fish, and then I put it in between layers of paper towels so that I dry it off. Reason is, wet fish, your seasoning and your, your, your breading will not stick. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a, just a little bit of this fish and chicken here, and then take your knife, I'm not cooking with an overly large uh, pan, so we're just gonna cut it into nice little bite-sized pieces and throw it in this. This is 50-50 flour cornstarch with some original Everglades. And uh, this is what's nice. See, that's a walleye, typical filet. You just cut the pin bones out, your piece of cake. The northern, the northern pike, man, it's a whole pain in the neck. But, you know, no pain, no gain. Gotta just get her done. These fellas here, they're fans of the channel. And y'all think I carry Everglades everywhere. I do, but this is his, this is Matt's. He's got some too. Now the question is, how many of y'all out there have ordered Everglades? I know the number is very large, very high. Um, and if you have bought Everglades seasoning, leave it in the comments below where you live, just so we can see where it's been distributed. It's pretty crazy. All right, look at that. When you use the when you use cornstarch as part of your breading, it makes it nice and crispy. Good old crispy duck. Woo! Look at this. We're ready to go, y'all. Dropping them right in there. Cooking over an open fire. The way life was meant to be lived, y'all. Bare ribs for supper. Amazing, man. And we are starving. So you guys, this is our last night in camp, and this joker right here, this is Clay Roberts. Y'all have heard me talking about him the whole time we've been up here, between bear hunting and fishing and everything that we've done. This guy's always got a tool in his hand, whether he's fixing a bed, tearing the hubs off of a Polaris. <laughs> There's a million things that this guy does to make this all work. It feels like we're in town, but we're actually in the middle of absolute freaking loot nowhere. And it's my biggest kudos to you to be able to pull this off. You do a great job. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Um, Enjoyable. It's illegal for us to come to Canada and hunt without an outfitter. And so if you're looking for an outfitter, someone who can set things up for you, just check him out. Check out his website. It's deltaoutfitters.com. Deltaoutfitters.net. .net. Dot .net. You need the net because you're going fishing while you're, while you're hunting. So dot .net. Makes sense. Right? And then people eat good here. You know, his wife, Michelle, keeps the camp absolutely immaculate, whether it's your room, the bathroom, the dining area. Everything is clean and nice. And check that out, good food. The nice thing about cooking over an open fire like this, 
He ain't making a mess. Oh my goodness gracious, that's hot. Mega hot. I gotta get some gloves. Whoo, it's kinda hot. Yeah, oh, it's really hot. Mm. But this is what camp's all about. It's not about shooting a bear or killing a deer. It's about this. This is what, that's Huey. He was my guy. This is who took me out whenever I killed my bear. That's Clay. These are all the guys. And this is camp, man. I wish you were here. Fish, corn, uh, potato skillet, ribs. I want to taste this. Dude, that's so good. That's delicious, man. That's delicious. Awesome. Thank you. I lost my hat because I want to give a shout out to Matt's son, Tegan. His son is a big fan. He couldn't make it up to camp. So I said, hey, take this one. I've been wearing it all week. Tegan, I hope you enjoy it. Everybody out there, I wish you were here. And I, I want to tell you all, thank you so much for the support, the encouragement, being behind us all the way, man. This is hunting. This is life. I love you, and I'm gone. Woo!